So what are you making? Sandwich. Lunch is what we're making. Pretty high tech. Ham and cheese. I'm gonna get some some greens on there. Yeah. Yeah. Quick little uh, little grab and go here since you're you're occupying that. Look at those eggs in there. And gonna mess around in the eggs, dude. Free range. Every day, yeah, organic, something. See, only the best. Yeah. We don't we don't mess around. Almond drinks. Yeah. Guitars. We <laughs> I do have a few guitars. Yeah, it's been fun playing guitar. It's been. Uh, Can you show us around your guitar? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just put the sandwich on hold for you. Yes, sorry. Just, just button that <laughs> Looks up. Looks a nice sandwich, it. actually. Yeah. <laughs> I got avocado. I'm forgetting all the stuff. But, uh, yeah, I got a couple guitars. I've, I've played guitar since I was a little kid. Yeah. And um, I've always really enjoyed it, but I've never been super good at it. I knew basic chords and stuff like that. Um, but, yeah, so I just started getting a few more. I got a couple of Les Pauls. I got a Taylor acoustic and a, uh, a Martin acoustic now. So it's been uh, it's been fun, man. Just something that I enjoy um, doing. I've always really liked music. I grew up in a family that was heavily into music. Oh yeah, my what, parents. What both? What do they do? Uh, my dad played the trumpet, and he went to college on a full trumpet scholarship, like music school and all that stuff. And uh, he played like halftime at the Rose Bowl or something like big, yeah. you know, pretty big venues. And my mom played the piano and sang. She recorded uh, some songs when I was a kid. So it was always, it was always in our family a lot and I've always loved it, but I always raced so much that I never like put quite a nice, focus on it. Quite nice to have a break. Yeah. Apart from, away from the bikes, yeah? Yeah, I mean, I don't really see it like that. I think a lot of people always, uh, yeah, there's my high school diploma. Boom. <laughs> I didn't go to college, but I was a straight A student in high school. So really, yeah. And I did see a bit of Greek down here. Yeah, we. Uh, Are you serious? Yeah, the the old office. I just rearranged everything a couple of days ago, so it's it's in disarray. But yeah, I've been studying Greek and I've been studying uh, music theory. So it's been it's been fun. I'm doing a bit of singing. And some, yeah, and singing. I started taking online singing classes, so that's been uh, interesting. But I've always liked to sing, and, I, and I've loved music. And, and I feel like I have a good ear for it, so it was like, why not? Like, it's a, it's a fun little personal challenge. So that sounds like you've got plenty on for 2017. Yeah, yeah, dude, we got lots going on. Lots going on. So, no, I, I wouldn't say that it's a, it's a getaway from racing. I think it's just... Um, it's just stuff that I enjoy. Like I never feel like I need to get away from racing. Like I love riding my bike, and, and I do that every day, regardless. Just about so, um, this stuff when I do have, you can't ride your bike all day every day. So at some point you're not at the gym or riding a bike, and it's fun to do other things too. <laughs> I can make a nice sandwich. Like make sweet sandwiches, you know. Yeah, who looks after the grass? Dude, I can't. I can't remember his name. You I must do. I just hired him. And, uh, but it's like a whole crew, so his brother's been showing up. Uh, I actually got fined three hundred dollars <laughs> a couple of Whoa. months ago because I was out of town and my uh, my lawn wasn't up to par. I guess. Get yeah, it? No, I don't believe you. No, I'm not serious. <laughs> I I just threw away one of the notices, dude. They they're, they're crazy. Hold like, on. Yeah. Then I got another notice right after that that said the trim of my house needed painted. So which most of them do because these houses are like five or six years old and mm -hmm. I don't think they use great paint, but. So I painted painted the trim of the house, hired gardeners, so I don't get fined anymore. And I got like the <laughs> sickest house on the block. <laughs> no more fines. <laughs> got a cleaner? Um, I actually do have a cleaner coming sometimes, yeah. Right now I have it, my house is kind of dirty, but uh, I just got back from my trip, so it's a little yeah, bit Yeah, where have you been? Um, I went holiday? Over, we've been testing, I got back on the down about a couple okay. days ago. So. Do, you have, do you ever go on holiday? I kind of just live on a holiday, dude. Like, I don't know. Like, yeah, I mean, I do do trips, but no, usually uh, just living, man, is, is pretty sweet. I'm, I'm fortunate to have a job where it doesn't require me to, you know, clock in every day or whatever and try to get days off. You really like my grass. Yeah. <laughs> it just got fresh mowed and you just walked straight through it, jacked it all up. I can't believe we the grass. We could talk about that. The grass is wet. Well, dude, it's California. It doesn't just grow naturally. Yeah. You gotta water it. Why don't you, uh, why don't you, why don't you get some goats and some chickens in there? I don't know, I'll probably get fined for that. I don't think you're allowed, uh, like, you know, farm animals in your backyard in this neighborhood. No? Probably not. Hmm. What about you? This is my fire pit. It's, uh, 
gas fire pit. Turn it on. You've got a gas fire pit. Fire. Yeah. Why don't you have just like a charcoal fire pit? Look at it. How clean it is. You don't have lighter fluid. You don't have crappy charcoal. You just turn the button, light it, fire, turn it off. Okay, what's over the? Gotta make everything more complicated. <laughs> okay, this is over Gwen's wall. Oh. <laughs> Look, there's loads of space there for goats. Yeah. Alan, where's your room? Right there, where that big window is. So I'll have the windows open at night, and every morning I'll wake up and you'll hear the school bell start, and you'll literally hear them do the Pledge of Allegiance every morning. Right. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. I feel like I'm right back in school, and the kid's screaming. You have to get out of bed. Kids so you've got under, underground uh, watering on this grass? Yeah. They're called sprinklers. Okay, right. <laughs> hey, we've got our own sprinklers in the UK. Yeah, I guess you guys Call that sprinkler. stuff up there. This is like a whole trip for you, huh? Just my backyard. <laughs> Technology <laughs> blowing your mind right now. Oh, there's barbecue over there. Oh, I kind of want to see your house. Now. Yeah, no worries. I'll do it. I want to see what where you're coming from. Well, my house would probably fit into kind of that. <laughs> this kind of piece here. Actually, my house would fit into the garden. The thing is, you could put a swimming pool there. Could. I've thought about it. But yeah? Yeah. But. That's a nice Lord's Trophy. Yeah. Good job you got a place to put it. I know. I really like it, but it is big. It's hard to fit. Mm. I got the rest of my trophies upstairs, and that one yeah. just dominates the rest of them, so I have made it its own place. Are you saying that's big? Look at this bloody table tennis table. Yeah. So that's not exactly small either, is it? I think it's the same as the rest of table tennis tables. <laughs> <laughs> Helmet collection. Yep, got some helmets. Your favorite? Mmm, that's a good question. Mm. So look at uh, them. Did you did you put this here because you knew we were coming? No, but yes, you did. It was an added bonus. You did. You just put yeah, it there. Honestly, it's been there for since I got it. <laughs> hey, this is a nice touch, Aaron, over here. Quite like your pants. Like Huh? Yeah, that's is nice, nice, isn't it? Yeah, what's really nice is that uh, when I bought this decoration, it didn't look like that. You just, actually bought that? It was empty jars, yeah. and then I like we bought this stuff. And I thought you might have just picked it out of the field. Put it in. It's not real, man. And see, it fooled you though. <laughs> can, I, can I just uh, point something out to you? Yeah. Over this area of the house. Um, Seems we've got quite a lot of shoes here, Grinny. Yeah. I mean, these seem to be like castaway shoes. I mean, what are you gonna do by that? Well, I really like clothes and shoes, so it's not that impressive. All my nice shoes are upstairs. I got more up there than I do down here. <laughs> but I don't know, man, I like to mix it up. I leave the house and grab different shoes. I've had some cool like little deals with Adidas and a few people in the past, so they'll send shoes. And how often, you, like how often do you go shopping for town shoes? For what shoes? Town shoes. Like, do you, you got shoes. leather shoes or something like that? Yeah, these ones I have on right now are leather. Boom. Wait, wait. What the make they? Crikey, how much do those set you back? <laughs> <laughs> They're worth it, alright? <laughs> how much did they set you back? They were like, yeah, I think they were like 550 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I like clothes. I like, Crikey. That's one thing, uh, since I was a kid, I've always liked fashion and clothes, but mm -hmm. I think I was always, as a lot of kids are, especially in the bike industry, you kind of get sucked into like dressing a certain way. This like, is a nice shirt, mine. Kind of, this is, I honestly didn't know you were filming today. I thought this whole, everything we're doing right now, I thought was gonna be an audio interview turned into text. <laughs> and then you showed up with a camera, so we're just doing our thing. But if I had a favorite helmet, I'd say it's probably this one. Just because I've had a lot of really good races in this helmet, as of recent, uh, the last like two or three years, I like most of the wins have been in this helmet. And then my other one that is my favorite is definitely this bad boy. So when I signed for Trek, I, I remember that one. Had my bell helmet, and it was just a black and white bell helmet. And uh, Tag painted it for me. I wanted to paint it. It's kind of dusty, but yeah. I wanted to paint it like an old McGrath kind of style helmet. So that's where all this stuff was. So 
this was my helmet I wore for all of 2011 when I won all my first races. Of course, so you know what the helmets do as well, don't you? They protect you. And they kind of protect they protect that Irish hair of yours. They do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were just talking about that. My great great grandma. There yeah. might be another great in there. I can't remember, but she came over on the boat from Ireland. Yeah. So I got some Irish in me. As you can see. Hold on, you stand back in the light there. So you go. Just get it glistening. There's the glistening How's it red hair. Do you reckon West Coast or East Coast Island? I have no idea. <laughs> Is it big enough? There's both, there's two sides? You want to just consider it the same thing? <laughs> you want to see the car? Can we see the car? Right. Everyone wants to see the car. I'll just stay here. Take him to the man cave. Come to the man cave. And there she oh, is. The man cave. Just the Whoa! You yep. can see the full Irish hair there now in the light. Yeah, we got the white light popping. Oh, this is my hair. I just woke up like this. Yeah. I did my hair yesterday. I think the gel stayed in there. Talk us through this then, Aaron. Yeah, so this is um, the 2014 Porsche GT3. Um, I got this car almost two years ago. Um, I had another Porsche before this, and then I had some other cars before that. I had a really cool 69 Camaro that I built up. Um, but I was spending so much money on that car and it was like, it was still an old car, it smelled like gas, there's no air conditioning, so I upgraded and then uh, this is what I kind of really wanted all along, so mm -hmm. I eventually got it. So yeah, this has been an awesome car, man. I love did, it. You, uh, did you paint the wheels yourself? No, no. <laughs> Apparently, a oh, rattle can. What are we doing? This is not well, really that kind of car. <laughs> well, Brendan and the boys, they paint their own wheels. Well, yeah, I would on maybe something else, but probably not on that. Like I'd paint my own wheels on my like BMX bike over there, or like my old Toyota truck I used to have. Yeah.